Hi there, welcome to this video explaining the uh, use and features of the Chrome extension uTweak. Uh, first I'll show you how to head over to uh, the Chrome web store and download the extension. It will be presented with uh, this page here. Uh, there's many details about what the extension actually does. Um, but once you're satisfied and you want to download it, just go ahead and click on add to Chrome. You see I already have. Uh, so once you've installed it, uh, a little message should pop up asking you to set the options. You can set the options at any time by going to the control panel, tools, extensions, and clicking on options next to uTweak. Okay, so here we can see the options menu for uTweak. Uh, each of these little uh, checkboxes toggles the on-off functionality of each of the different um, tweaks included in the extension. Uh, you'll see the top one is uh, remove, enable the remove button for subscription videos. If we just open up YouTube, you can see uh, you can see that it's just a standard YouTube page. You toggle the button, click save, head back to YouTube, refresh. Oops. And you've got that feature enabled. Uh, so I'll actually just run through briefly what each of these features do. Uh, so enable the remove button basically means that it adds a little button to the bottom right hand corner of each of the videos uh, and on clicking that that button removes that video from your from your uh, subscription feed very useful if you want to just you know edit out the ones you don't want uh, next one down is to change the YouTube icon URL so by default if I open this in a new, a new tab you'll see that it takes you to the what to watch page not very useful I don't like this particularly so enable this and the default is uh, the subscriptions feed but you can edit this and change this as you want Click save, refresh, and you can now see that if we open this in a new tab, it takes you to the subscriptions feed. So the third uh, extension down here is the delete watched videos button. So if we click enable, save, and refresh, we'll notice that there is a little uh, button on the left which appears called remove watched videos. Uh, I don't actually have any watched videos, so just allow this one to be watched quickly and refresh so you can see that there's uh, a video here marked as watched so by clicking this button it just goes through all of your subscriptions and removes any watched videos from that there is another option to automatically remove watched videos which basically uh, does it whenever you load the YouTube home feed page. So the next option is to link all videos to HD. When enabled, this means that instead of uh, videos being linked to the standard resolution uh, uh, quality, uh, we just click refresh and click on the same video. you'll see that it's linked directly to the HD version. This currently only works up to uh, 720p. Okay, so the next option is to stop the autoplay of videos. Pretty self-explanatory, but when you click on a new video, it loads, it just pauses at the beginning. Still allows buffering, so useful for those of you with uh, slow internet, uh, it'll still buffer. Uh, but it won't play it until you click play. Okay, so the final two are clear all videos from the subscription page and load all videos from the subscription page. Click save on both of those, refresh the home page, and you'll see that there's two new uh, buttons on the left hand side remove all videos and load all videos. Uh, load all videos won't work here because I haven't, this is, I've only got one page, but it, it essentially just loads every single page into the one. Uh, feed so you can see all of your subscription videos in one sort of block and remove all videos basically just deletes all of your videos from the home page enabling you to start again uh, afresh so that's pretty much uh, the summary of uTweak extension at the moment uh, it's constantly being updated other than that if there's any problems or suggestions please do click the contact me page uh, and you can drop me a, a message through Chrome's uh, web store. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed the extension.